The L3 error code in Kelvinator air conditioners typically indicates problems related to the outdoor unit's fan. In many units, the indoor fan may be working, but the L3 error appears because the outdoor unit is completely stopped. Neither the fan nor the compressor is running, although the PCB is operational and the diode is blinking continuously. In most units displaying the L3 code, the outdoor unit fan uses a BLDC motor, brushless DC motor. This motor is powered by three wires, which supply energy to three coils controlled by an IPM, intelligent power module. The IPM electronic module controls the voltage outputs through transistors integrated within it. Steps to diagnose and solve the L3 error code. 1. Disconnect the unit from the electricity, wait a few minutes, turn it back on, and check if the error persists. 2. If the error persists, disconnect the unit again and check the fan's movement. Ensure that the outdoor unit's fan and blades move properly. If the fan moves correctly, you can rule out motor shaft jamming and bearing issues. 3. Check the connector connections. Inspect the fan connector for any loose connections. A loose contact point may trigger the error. Disconnect, wiggle, and reconnect to ensure a secure contact. 4. Measure the fan's resistance. Disconnect the fan from the external electronic board. Use a multimeter on the resistance scale to measure the resistance between the fan wires. The values should be almost identical. If not, replace the fan. 5. Depending on the model of the electronic board, ensure that the screws securing the IPM and the heatsink are properly installed. A poorly installed heatsink may cause overheating and IPM failure. 6. Inspect the capacitors on the external electronic board. Visually check the electrolytic capacitors, remembering that they can store a charge even when the board is disconnected. Discharge the capacitors using a resistor by connecting their pins. Measure the capacitance of each capacitor with a capacitance meter and ensure it matches the specified values. 7. Ensure that the IPM output pins have continuity with the connector, where the outdoor unit's fan is connected. 8. With the electronic board powered on, check the voltage present in the IPM electronic integrated circuit. To do this, use a multimeter set to direct or continuous voltage. Compare the corresponding pins, checking the datasheet or serial number of the IPM integrated circuit.